So here I am checking out of room 231 from the Monumental Movie Land Hotel, lugging my luggage, that's why it's called luggage, um, and holding a camera in one hand, and walking past room service. Hello. Hi. And, um, well basically it's been a good stay, it's not too far from Universal Studios, so, but I was at Disney most of the time. Anyway, they have shuttles, which sometimes are a little bit late, but I like the fact that they have, um, like little movie posters on the walls, which are Disney, Tarzan, so that's really cool. And also Buzz Lightyear and stuff like that. Anyway, there's also Pooh over here. Um, but um, all in all, there was a roach, but you know, it's comfortable, there's a nice pool, it's supposed to be heated. Um, so yeah, uh, ready for New York now. So there's a little room here by the side of the front desk to check your luggage in. I am uh, early for my shuttle, so I'm gonna go have lunch. But just to show you around the hotel, there's a game room here. Um, I think there's someone in there repairing stuff. But anyhow, it has games. Um, I like this hotel because it's uh, generally relatively uh, reasonable in price. There's ice machines all around too, and just gonna show you a little bit of uh, where the pool is. So, that's the way to the pool, right over there, you can see the pool, it's really pretty decent. And then I'm going to take you back, there are vending machines all around too, so you can see here, um, vending machines, you can also do your laundry at other places, and if you want breakfast, it's not free breakfast, but it's actually very reasonable, it's a buffet breakfast that you can have at the Black Angus Steakhouse, which is just connected to the hotel for $4.99, all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, the only funny thing is that you check in at 4 p.m. and you have to check out at 11 a.m. So that's a bit early for me. But in any case, um, this is the outside. There's Wet n Wild, it's pretty popular. But I think it's gonna go down to make space for a new universal water theme park. They're trying to compete with Typhoon Lagoon and Blizzard Beach that Disney has. But this is the outside. There's a Walgreens two blocks down so you can get your uh, uh, supermarket and pharmaceutical needs met. There's also um, to the left KFC which has also internet if, in case the hotel internet goes down. And um, over to the right, if you walk down, it's my favorite. Applebee's also has internet and Wi-Fi. My favorite thing to get is the sweet potato fries and the chicken tortilla soup, which is what I'm gonna get right now. So that's pretty much it. And if you walk further down, this is uh, International Drive, or iDrive as it's known. And uh, there's lots of different things to explore. Payless shoes, uh, lots of other restaurants and different things that Florida has to offer too. So overall, I think this is a generally good, good hotel. It's comfortable and uh, the shuttle comes here to pick you up.